Amigos, my friends, welcome again to TheRealPitbull.com, 123Pitbull.com. This is your friend Chico Lopez. I know I get the messages uh, from the Spanish side, from the English side, people from all over the world asking me, where are the YouTube videos? We need you, we want to see you, and we want you to talk about the things that happen in the life of Chico Lopez and in the life of The Real American Pitbull uh, through 123Pitbulls.com. You've seen the pictures on my Facebook, you've seen the pictures on my Instagram, you see me with different boxers from around the world, some of these great legends. We're working on this huge project. And you know, the, the, the spirit of the American Pitbull Terrier, that's what we're gonna talk about today, is gonna to be the spirit of the real American Pitbull Terrier and how the spirit of the real American Pitbull Terrier also is very inspirational and how it has been historically related to the, to the inspiration and the spirit of the American or the world boxers around the world. It is incredible. Folks, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you can get the notifications from my page, from this YouTube page, or from uh, Facebook. You gotta hit like, love. Just, you know, we wanna have you around here looking at these great videos. Share it with your friends. There's a lot of great people out there that are calling me and, and there's so much I gotta talk to you folks about. So. I'm gonna make several videos in my head right now. It's just a blend of different conversations with different people. I got some great stories to share with you. Of course, you keep seeing my, my dogs all over the world. There's some beautiful, beautiful uh, people having fun with these great dogs that I breed. Now, talking about boxing, there's a link on 123pitbulls.com, the real, the real pitbull terrier.com. There's a link about boxing. So you guys that love boxing, get in there. If you have anything that you can contribute to me in the part of history and sort of the stuff, let me know. For instance, uh, Jack Johnson, the first African-American or the first black uh, American boxer in history, great man that loved uh, Pebble Terriers. He got his dogs from uh, in the past from Mr. Kobe, the original Kobe, and he enjoyed those dogs. And I'm talking about the beginning of, of, of the century of the 19 of the 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 1900s okay and then we'll see the uh, dogmen such as Jack Dempsey you know he loved boxing you know and the son of Joe Corvino his name is was also Jack Corvino three different Jacks Jack Jack Corvino and by the way the man from uh, Hawaii provided me with this great information and you want to make sure that I mention you here you go I told you I was gonna give you credit Historian from Hawaii gave me this information on Jack Corvino, okay? A lot of people that know the bloodlines on the American People Terrier heard the name of Mr. Joe Corvino. His son, Jack Corvino, was, uh, of course, fancier of the, of the American People Terrier and a boxer himself. Now, a lot of people don't know this, and this is historical. The breed, the breed standards, and I'm not talking about UKC, but I'm talking about ADBA, okay? The one was run by Dogmans in the 1940s, 19... 50s, 1960s, 70s, 80s, the 90, the 90s, 2000s, and you know the era of the men like let's say, uh, um, um, you know the dogs, the yellow Rebel Jacko dogs, and talking about Grand Champion Mayday. We're talking about Awesome Bug. We're talking about Sierra the Great. We're talking about the Bagman. Also Mayday. All these dogs have been registered with the ADBA. We love what the ADBA used to be. Uh, a lot, you know, with the, with the Mr. Ralph Greenwood and, and some of the, the sons of, of, of his sons that run this attachment to the real American Pitbull Terrier. Now, he, the, Mr. Greenwood, his partner, which was the, the, the brainchild be, be behind, you know, uh, the standard of the American Pitbull Terrier today, uh, a good friend of mine, his name is Mr. Dale Brastrom. I like to give him credit where credit is due. He is an intellectual, a great, uh, man and a good friend of mine. So we, we have a personal relationship, okay? We call each other, we check how we're doing and stuff like that. He really love our dogs. Uh, out of a, I'll say this, out of a collage of different pictures where there were uh, grand champions from the past, grand champions from today, and some of the dogs that, um, that uh, are uh, dogs from uh, confirmation shows, he picked up without knowing and a picture of a female, he said, the greatest dog I ever seen, greatest confirmation. I said, uh, he asked, who's this dog? He said, well, this is global grand champion, Sierra the Great, and he is my dog. That'll tell you a lot about how performance 
works together with, with the image of the breed and the, the confirmation with the angulation and the real shape. You know, some judge will be like, oh my God, you know, I like this better. What a judge says really don't matter. You know, it's like he sent me a letter and he's saying that like, we wouldn't believe that even women are, and nothing about against women, but every person got a place in, 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 in their place in life. You know, a mother is a mother, a father is a father. But he was telling me his own opinion in regards of, of uh, real, real boxing, where women are judges of boxing, you know? Incredible, but this is just the way things are now in life is, you know, the, the decrement of, of manhood and, and the, the disappearance of, of the real alpha male. But this man, Del Brastrom, also was a boxer. And that's a very interesting aspect of life. You know, uh, we spent some time with uh, Mr. Uh, world champion, undisputed, undefeated, um, Terence Crawford and, and his family, the children, the way his children are so tough, amazing, you know, the uh, national uh, wrestling champion in his age group and stuff like that is, you know, we study a little bit about how the genetics actually has influence on that and so on and so forth. It is amazing, folks. So we are going around the world. We created this link and I want you to go to the the link inside the one to three pebbles.com, which is the short link I created. And you can see within this link, you can see information that I'm putting in regards of the spirit of the American people Terrier and boxing. It's not only with boxing, but it's also with anyone in life. That includes you and that includes me. You know, uh, this inspiration that comes from the dog. There is no way, there is no way, there's no other dog in the world that can give a boxer the the spirit of never giving up than a dog that came from warriors a dog that came from grand champions from champions global grand champions best to best the spirit you know you look at dogs like the dogs from the bagman the puppies from also made they, they are sweet with kids they're playing around they're going on the couch they got this great personality they got this natural instinct they're not human aggressive but they do have this relentless spirit about themselves where they love to 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 play around and, and you know and they have this something special there is a a very good nutritionist in the ukraine the, the country of ukraine and his name is uh, mr alex foca good friend very nice guy down to earth uh, beautiful he is the nutritionist of several champions and one of them is undisputed undefeated mr Usyk, which is just a great person himself and so and so this good friend Alex, you know, he, he didn't know much about the breed. He became interested in the breed. He saw the puppies and he saw one of our puppies called Payaso playing around. And he's like, I cannot believe this. He says, the inspiration that we get from these dogs is monumental. It's amazing. And I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to keep working on this, you know, and, and the connection between fathers. You won't believe the amount of parents. When I say parents, some ladies, but mainly men. They called me, he said, you know, they, they, they said, when I was a child, I wanted my, you know, I had an experience with American people Terriers that changed my life forever. I had a, uh, a call the other day from a gentleman that asked me, he says, you know, I read about your time in New York. He says, do you ever be in the St. James Park? I said, yeah, I used to be around the, the St. James Park area in the Bronx. And he says, you know, I think I saw you before and I saw you with your dogs. And this could have happened, but he told me his life story. He said, I was a 14-year-old boy living in a real tough neighborhood in, in the Bronx, New York. And, you know, I would walk around with my, my, with my American Pit Bull Terrier. You know, and it was a street level, just like him and I agree on that. But this still, he says, a lot of the thugs and the bullies around the neighborhood will give me respect because I was the little boy, 14-year-old boy with this dog. And he said, then after that, I grew up. I moved away from the Bronx. You know, I, a friend gave me a dog, a different breed, but it didn't feel the same. And then I run into your channel and I was looking for Real American People Terry and it was like, boom, amazing channel. All the information and everything you said that is true, I want my kids to have this experience. I want my children to have the experience of being raised with a Real American People Terrier. Mind blowing folks, a lot of great stuff going on. We were in, this, we were in the city of Kiev, Ukraine, we were in Italy. Uh, we recently were in New York, um, and we had a trip going to Panama, and we will be in a few days in the UK, and consecutively we will be again in Europe doing more things, 
And I just want to tell you, I'm getting a lot of information from a lot of people around the world, a lot of feedback, a lot of great positive feedback from my dogs, a lot of great information. And we are changing what it used to be, you know, the good dogs with the dogs and the street-level dogs with the breeders.